everyone, welcome to Piano Val, this is Emma Lillman. In this series of videos I'm gonna show how imagination and singing affect piano playing and how to create your own interpretation of music that cannot be done so well by following traditional way of practicing. just an intention to play it louder. Uh, there will be no much difference between notes, um, the melody might be too suppressed while playing or the chord wouldn't, wouldn't be played simultaneously. We can achieve accurate voicing by imagining, by imagining one part closer to us. Uh, so again, let's talk about imagination. When we imagine notes in different uh, timbres, that could be violins, cellos, or vocal voice, that would bring impulse to our fingertips, to muscles of our fingers and our palm, and that would create the touch that we need. So this is how we would control the tone and the touch. So, for example, let's imagine this chord in the ocean of violins and imagine every single note in this chord this, 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 this start imagining sequentially and then you may reduce time between notes and till you discover that you can imagine all four parts uh, together in your head evenly so this is how, by just imagining this, you would already pre-feel it in your fingers. Now, let's say that we can highlight this C. So this C, we would imagine closer to us. So this part of violin, we would imagine closer to us. And that would be very easy to play. So right away, the finger muscle over here would exert a little bit different um, from fingers, from the rest of the fingers. Now I'm gonna voice E. Now I'm gonna voice G. cellos and I imagine them together now I'm gonna voice oh, for example this C G Thank you. 
good exercise for finger muscles. <laughs> so voice the right hand here. Don't play like this. Please make sure that when you play this um, accompaniment with the left hand, all these intervals and chords, again, you know exactly which voice you um, highlight here. I'm, I'm voicing first uh, top and then bottom. Over here, um, my first finger. It helps a lot because if you don't do this, then it's very heavy and the texture will be very heavy everything the same. So I'm highlighting my first finger, the rest on the background. Now this one again. So I'm going by I'm seeing the melody here. I'm trying all the time, I'm trying to, to find the melody even in the accompaniment. I would highlight in the accompaniment because I need to highlight one voice in the accompaniment otherwise everything will be too thick and wouldn't let my melody float <laughs> so I'm imagining the top voice in the left hand so and the rest on the background. And together with the melody. It's very important to keep pianissimo in your accompaniment. Again, make sure that even in this texture you measure every single note to, to be able to control what you're playing. Um, to be able to highlight your uh, melody, you simply imagine that you come to the timbre, for example, you come to the singer <laughs> closer. So even though she sings in the same timbre, very soft, um, in the in the mark in the mark um, harmony, you can hear this timbre closer and more clear because you closer to the to the voice. So the texture itself is very soft. I still manage to highlight and to voice my melody. changes your tone, your touch, and your intonation, and improves your performance a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.